Topic sentences. Okay, you'll have a topic sentence to start each paragraph you write. It's the first thing you'll do. They must be short and simple. Don't listen to anyone who tells you that they need to be big, long-winded things where you explain everything. That's what the rest of your paragraph is for. They work like tabs in the binder. And basically what that means is in each tab of your binder, you've got a group of things that are related to each other. And that's what your paragraph is. It's a group of ideas that are related to each other. By doing that, it allows whoever's marking to go back over it and say, yes, you've done that. You've answered that part of the question. Very good. An example of this might be, for instance, bats and nocturnal creatures, which is essentially saying this is a paragraph that answers the part of the question about bats being active at night. If you've got a question asking for that, then that introduction to your paragraph about bats being nocturnal is basically straight to the point. And this is what a topic sentence is trying to do. It's something which is discussion and, and things that trail on from that should be trying to justify your topic sentence. Now, another reason for a simple topic sentence is for teachers, for us, markers, who have to mark your work. If you write something that's very confusing or overcomplicated or you're not 100% sure what it is you're writing and so you just put down whatever comes to your mind, one of the things about a simple topic sentence is if I read that at the, at the beginning and then the rest of your writing is gibberish, at least I know you're trying to connect it to that idea that you had in your simple topic sentence. If you write this big long winded thing and then slowly try and get to the point by the end, I've already, I'm have already i already completely lost. There's no point trying to find someone again when they're already lost. You might as well try and get them to know where they're going to begin with and that way if they do get a little bit lost they can go back to where they started from. Having a nice simple topic sentence will allow you to do that. It will bring clarity to your work by having those bookends of the things that you've covered in the question and your topic sentences literally will be addressing a separate part of the question. Then what you're doing is you're essentially making your work a little bit clearer and it's a very simple way to make your work just that tiny bit clearer. It is a way that when you go back over your work you can have a look at each topic sentence you write and immediately without having, having to read it know that you're helping to answer the question you're ensuring you've answered it essentially works like as i said before those tabs in the binder if you look at each of those sections you should be able to look at something that's completely answered the question and does so in such a way not only can you pick that up but other people can pick that up too